back to our channel. Welcome. Uh, we are actually excited today. We're going to talk about something uh, really fun. Right. Cryptocurrency, uh, precious metals, and some idiots. <laughs> <laughs> just land, property, and uh, uh, so uh, three, three elements. Three you know. elements, yes. Okay. Um, uh, cryptocurrency at this point has it is was and is uh, been a hot topic. Um, a lot of people are uh, starting to monitor. A lot of people are starting to dumping money to dump money into it. Elon mm -hmm. Musk uh, just dumped one point five billion dollars into Bitcoin. Oh, a few weeks ago or a month ago. Well, to be honest, and, right? Yeah. He put one point five billion dollars purchased Bitcoin, right? But you have to think about it. Bitcoin today was like fifty seven thousand dollars plus. Yeah. Per Bitcoin. You know, which Bitcoin. last year was like ten thousand dollars. You know, the and month, still people thought that was crazy. CNN. But the thing is, him getting one point five billion dollars is actually Bitcoin is a trillion dollar cap right now. Trading well, yeah. share, right? Well, so 1.5 billion is like a drop in a bucket. However, because he has such a big name recognition, right? If somebody investor who is wealthy billionaire but nobody knows who he is or he's not a household name would come and just buy three billion dollars well, in Bitcoin, nobody would just you know, be that much money. You know, he didn't do, you, know, you know he didn't do it to make profit, right? I mean he made profit, but he didn't do it for the profit. He is now going to open up the door for people to purchase his cars, the Teslas, right. using cryptocurrency. Using cryptocurrency. And he said, actually, if they go to the moon, Dogecoin is going to be the cryptocurrency. Dogecoin, yeah. I mean, like, look, it's all about subliminal messaging. Um, and uh, I remember when 2008, uh, Bitcoin, uh, 2008, uh, no, sorry, January 2009, the, the first blockchain was, was actually mined for Bitcoin to be in. My thing is... but. Cryptocurrency was killed by CNN 90 times. 90 times uh, CNN said Bitcoin is dead, Bitcoin is dead, Bitcoin is dead. And uh, Bitcoin actually reached into pennies at some point, and now it's at $57,000. Okay? Um, now, there's other, uh, there's other cryptocurrencies out there. Um, now, uh, the other thing that's becoming very, very valuable is gold and silver, precious metal. Copper is on the, it's on the list as well, um, but right. copper is a little bit harder to get. Um, but, I think um, the attractiveness of uh, cryptocurrency is obviously it's just it's digital security, blockchain. I'm not a technical person, so we are not going to get no into that. There is security, but there isn't. But, yeah. but I'm just saying is like one is that, or at least the... Uh, uh, understanding or assumption of that that this is super secure and you want to have your wallet and stuff and it's just secure password and all that I think the biggest thing is that you cannot have it because it's not in connected to the normal financial and uh, regulated banking system so you can be pretty much ghost and traded with anybody without Leaving a trace. Well, or no, there's a, trace. no, there's a trace. Right, but minimal no, no, trace. There's, there's a trace. If you do it between yourself, you don't have to. Unless if you're going to exchange it to a money, right? I can send it to you if you have wallet to wallet. We can send it to you. But that's not going to be exposed to anybody outside world unless if you're going to, when you're going to go to some exchange place to exchange it for the money to no, liquidate. It is, it, is it is exposed. They just don't know who's trading. Right, that's what I'm saying. So, that's exactly. so, the, the, so, trade, the, so the trade is there, they just don't know who's behind it. The but what, yeah. uh, so the, the whole point of cryptocurrency, the, it was set up and to... And you don't to, have to transport. It was, it was to eliminate... Well, no, it was to eliminate financial institutions. Okay? To eliminate uh, any bank or middleman to send money from one from one person to another. So it's called peer-to-peer. -peer. I could send him money, he could send me money without going through... For example, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, or anything like that. Not only that, it's like so, a, uh, limitations of how much wealth you can transfer from country to country. Because um, most of you guys probably know, let's say, if you go to airport, you travel outside of the United States, or you're coming to the United States, it's like how much money you have. If well, you that's have cash currency, though. Up to, you're talking about cash. Right, right, exactly. We're not, we're so, not, we're not talking about cash. I'm talking about 
Yeah, but, well, cash is money, right? So um, if you want to transport money or gold or whatever from location to location, country to country, I wouldn't say location, you can drive, you can have a suitcase of money in your back of your car and just go across the state line. But uh, if you're traveling, obviously that would be, you know, logistically large sum of money, that would yeah. be, and that if you declare it, anything over $10,000, you have to declare it. Even if you're trans, uh, making transaction, through banking system, anything over $10,000, you have to declare it and give reasons why, and then they're gonna just, you know, maybe audit it, look into it, unless if you're a business, all of a sudden you wanna just, you know, transfer. Um, right, you, you can still do that with, with cryptocurrency. You could, you no, could I'm still. I'm saying with the cryptocurrency, the thing is, you can do that without you don't getting need to the do banking that. system. Right, so, so, so you, that's the advantage. Well, yeah, yeah, so you have a wallet where your funds are kept. Um, this is a digital wallet where it comes with the encryption. Everything's encrypted. Um, uh, transactions are recorded. So, you know, you could trace back where the Bitcoin came from, where the Bitcoin went, how the uh, um, how much fee was involved. There's a lot of involved in Bitcoins. But, you know, just to keep it on the surface level, you know, not a lot of people know the technical details behind it. It's, it's, it's deep. It's very, very deep. Um, I have I have some knowledge on it, uh, but I don't need to bore you with it. But uh, reality of it is, when when, uh, when our current currency is becoming uh, devalued by keep printing, when you keep printing money, the currency becomes devalued. They don't even devalued. print it. They're just injecting some. They're just injecting number. number. They don't even so, print it. Uh, but uh, digital currency, in reality, has been on for years. Okay, because. What ha what's been happening in the past 20 years, our credit cards, our ATM cards have been replacing the actual cash currency. In I hands. just want to pull some data quick. Okay. So when you start shopping with your credit card, with your debit card, now you have uh, uh, these uh, apps that you could use as, as payment, um, like Apple Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay. So you have all this now. So right now, you don't need to have cash in your hand. Everything's digitized. So you, in a way, you already live in a digitized currency world, okay? Um, the only difference is cryptocurrency has a different backing, meaning it's, it's backed by a different type of funds versus cash having its own value, meaning a dollar is always going to be a dollar. Five dollars is always going to be five dollars. Ten dollars is always going to be ten dollars. And a penny is always going to be a penny. But in a cryptocurrency aspect, that value changes constantly. That one cryptocurrency could be worth five cents. In case of Dogecoin, where all it went up to eight cents at one point, or in Bitcoin, says it's fifty-seven thousand dollars per one Bitcoin. So, so the, the 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 backing of each fund is different. Although they're both backed by by federal government, it just. They have this so many values. things over here. Now the concept of obviously when they started printing and all that stuff because uh, based on constitution, the United States government has to issue gold and silver for currency. That's why you still see the uh, twenty dollar gold coins, which is like a one ounce, because for um, one hundred fifty plus years the value of one ounce of gold, troy ounce of gold, was um, twenty dollars. Yeah. And it didn't change. The reason was because they could not print more paper money than what the actual physical gold they had. That's why all the countries were fighting to have gold. And European countries that had their gold assets um, stored in the United States because it was, you know, far away from everybody else and it was safe, right? Yeah. Because they had wars going on, World War One, World War Two. So France, England, they had all their golds stored in the um, United States. Based on um, Federal Reserve's site right now, as of February 10, 2021, there was $2.05 trillion worth of Federal Reserve notes in circulation. So this means it's actual cash, actual cash printed, legitimate currency that you can have cash, you take it anywhere and expand it, is actually only $2 trillion. So they just passed $2 trillion. So they don't even print money. <laughs> right? It's just 
It is a, a digital currency. It's a term. It it's is a, a term currency. they use. It's, it's been a digital currency because we have tens of trillions of dollars in unpaid li uh, liabilities, domestic liabilities. So we have 24 trillion now. 24 it trillion. It's a lot more. Than yeah. That. If you go go social security and everything else, right. unpaid liabilities is um, probably near close to like you know 80 hundred trillion dollars. At this point, dollars. all this debt but is all imaginary. And that is the reason if. If, let's say, if you are a millionaire or a billionaire and you show up to your bank and say, hey, I want I my want, billion dollars. I want my, exactly, I want my, no, forget about billion dollars. I want like a 10 million dollars cash. They were going to say, oh, you can't have it right now. Yeah. You have to go and actually no. get cash from other places. No, you know, you know what they're going to say? They'll never give it to you. Of course, they're going to make They it. will never give it to you. A 10, mil, 10 million dollars. If you go to, <laughs> if you Here's the say, what do you want to, Please what do you put want this to, to the test. Please put this to the test on filming. If you are a millionaire, you have upwards of whatever. Go to the bank We're and tell them. If you're a millionaire, call us so we can be friends. Call them three days ahead of time. I used to work at a bank, so I know. Call them three days ahead of time. Tell them I want ten million dollars in cash. Okay? You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna hang up on your face. First, you're gonna call again because they're gonna think you're a robber. You're gonna call again. You're like you're gonna ask for a bank manager. You're like, hey, I want ten thousand, ten million dollars out of my account in cash. The guy's gonna laugh in your face. It's like we can't get that kind of money in here. So and what do you need it for? No, 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 no. It's your own money. It's your money. It's your own money. You cannot have it in cash. They will offer you a cashier's check. Probably Jeff Bezos doesn't have too many it was, in cash. It's, yeah. It's, they, it's you know, like a honest, honest to God, they're going to tell you. Actual hard cash. Honest to God, you know. they're going to say, we'll cut your cashier's check. How much cash do you have okay, so, right now? Like, so, <laughs> look. The poor are actually rich because they have access to their cash. Their right. cash is accessible. Okay? When you... Cross a certain threshold <laughs> on funds. Let's say you become a millionaire. You no longer can access that money in a cash manner. You can't walk around with a million dollars, go to a dealership and buy a car with cash. You know what the first thing they're gonna do? They're gonna call the cops. They're like, "Oh, you're a drug dealer." That's what they're gonna do. So your currency has been switched to a digital currency. For a long time now, as he said, it's only two trillion dollars in currency being circulated. Okay, two trillion dollars being circulated in the United States. Think about that. Okay, ready? Go ahead. Uh, first thing first, we said that. So. Think about it. only two trillion dollars actual physical currency. Do you know why is that? Because that actual printed currency has to have some portion gold as a backup. That's the reason they don't have more cash than that. Okay? That means they only have two trillion dollars in gold. Right. If you go to the <laughs> banks and stuff, the same thing. Like bank has to have certain level of cash, liquidity, right? And that cash, that two trillion dollars. So think about it. All of the golds like in the world is around. Uh, one some trillion dollars or something like that. So anyway, like a gold, uh, I have to look at that too. But it's somewhere around. So that portion of it has to be backed by precious metal. Uh -huh. And since they don't have more than that, so they cannot print it. They can't print it, but it, 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 it would just go crazy. Like, you know, once the numbers comes out, it would. So we have like a national debt as of right now is like $30 trillion or... Trillion. Uh, the U.S. has $128 trillion in unfunded liabilities. <laughs> $128 trillion in unfunded, and this is from 2013. And we only have $2 article. trillion. When we had $17 trillion worth of debt, we have $120 trillion worth of unfunded. This is 2013. The total net worth of our country is $94 trillion, and we have another $17 trillion worth of debt. So now you go figure, and we have two trillion dollars in cash. That means the entire dollars, and this is not just United States. All other countries, it's whatever the, the US, whatever the U.S. dollars, 
helped by other banks, other investors, other people that they have two hundred dollars cash, you know, uh, because they exchange, right? You go to other countries, this you can is, get euros and stuff. You know why so that's that all is? two trillion dollars, just over two trillion dollars. The rest of it is monopoly. <laughs> this is socialism for you. That's what socialism is. But my, um, I understand the cryptocurrency and the stuff, and a lot of people dump it. The only reason, actually, I did reading a little bit, I still don't have full grasp of the concept. The only problem I have with it is because cryptocurrency, it doesn't have uh, intrinsic value. It does. Some of no, them. Does. Not all of them. It doesn't have intrinsic value. No, no, no. Value. Some when of I them talk do. about intrinsic value, because I'm more of a, like a gold and silver person, intrinsic value, that means... Gold and silver for thousands and thousands of years yeah, have but been traded as commodity with the same value, same I, ratio, and all that. I get it. Some and of if the you just have gold, no matter what it is, where you take it, it has that intrinsic value for being gold. Some of the digital some of the some of the cryptocurrencies are backed by by gold. If they're backed by gold, okay, then some you can of have, them, not all of them. Okay, they call stable I'm, coin. But I'm just saying, it's just even those is like a gold um, stock certificates. The same thing that the US, United States, until 57 had a dollar silver certificate. If you look at silver yeah. certificate, so they are supposed to be, if you actually would take it to that bank, they should have given you one US gold coin. Uh, I'm right. sorry, silver coin, silver dollar, because they because they're short on silver, so they stopped issuing the silver Morgan dollars in 1935. So after that, we didn't have no silver dollar until 80s uh, when Reagan again started the process of actually issuing for investment and stuff, the standing liberty that they're issuing one ounce uh, pure silver. Yeah. Okay? So they started, instead of issuing the silver dollar that you see in the movies, they flip it and all that, Morgan dollars, you can buy them around $30, $35 right now. So those dollars... We're supposed to be, if you would actually take it to the bank, it's called silver certificate. Whatever this gentleman just said. They were supposed to be backed by silver, but it wasn't because if you would take it to the bank, they'll say, sorry, we don't have it to give it to you. Yeah. So if you're saying, oh, there's some uh, cryptocurrency oh. saying gold, how do I know? Do I have physical access to see how much gold that they have backed? No, how but, you, but look, can, it's you, the same thing. How Again. You can trust it? Again, I just don't. look, cryptocurrency and whatever money you have in your bank, it's it's functioning the same way. It's just digital numbers being pushed around. The other reason is just because okay. if the government comes and bans it. Yeah, well, but that's the point. That's the point what I'm trying to make is digital numbers being pushed around from one area to another, okay? When you make a wire transfer, okay, it requires an account to be withdrawn from, it requires an account to be deposited to, it requires writing number, it also requires a SWIFT number, okay? The SWIFT is the mechanism that moves the money around. The SWIFT basically, um, when you send in the money out, the bank creates a message in the SWIFT that is that message is going to get transferred to the other bank, the receiving bank, saying, hey, we're sending you X amount of dollars or X amount of money. That receiving bank is going to receive that message, is going to put it in their log and say, hey, now this, this number gets added to this account. Uh, but I would like to make a challenge. I want to make a challenge for anybody who has, you know, $30,000 in their account. Go to the bank without calling and tell them I want $30,000 in cash. They won't give it to you. They would say, we could give, only give you $10,000 today or $5,000. You need to give us a call ahead of time so we could order cash for you to come and get it. On top of that, you take $30,000 out, they're going to fill out an STR form. Suspicious transaction report on you for taking your own money out. Okay, they're gonna they're gonna report that as a suspicious transaction report of you who have thirty thousand dollars in your account for six months, seven months, ten months, five years, and you want to take it out. You, they're gonna they're gonna make a report out of it. Right. So this is how the banking institution works. And when cryptocurrency was was placed uh, was put in place, was to completely eliminate the third party, which was the banks. They wanted funds to be trans 
uh, they, I mean by, you know, um, this Japanese guy who actually came up with the whole cryptocurrency. Um, well, that's one of them. Well, yeah, yeah, but we're talking about Bitcoin at this point. I'm not talking about any other um, currencies out there. Um, but the whole point was to get rid of the middleman. And again, the whole point is right now everything is digitized. You have your debit card, you have your credit card, you have your phone, um, you have PayPal, you have uh, uh, Cash App, you have Venmo, you have this. You have all these stuff that's allowing you to move digits from one point to another. Value of the total gold in the world right now, as of today's price, is just under $9 trillion. <laughs> so think about it. Total gold in the world, just under $9 trillion. And think about all uh, the governments in all the world. All debts canceled. Nobody has the corruption. <laughs> Uh, has been going all over the West, all over the, all other countries. There's not a single country that's not, some of them are doing better, some of them are not doing better, but there's not a single government in the world that is not doing deficit spending. So deficit spending means uh, unfunded liabilities. At some point you have to pay them. They're, you're, they're living on you're credit. Gonna become, everybody's going to become like a Greece, right? When <laughs> I was in Greece, everybody having a good time, party, you could get Social loan, Social everybody Social. got, yeah, things. And oh, you can retire at 50. You know what I'm saying? People have a party on the weekend. Oh, yeah, go retire at 50, go to the coffee oh, shop in the morning, play backgammon this, until night time. Um, they joined Euro, was like 99 or 2000. So oh. they got all oh, Euro and all that. So Germany wanted to just sell all their, you know, their big exporters. So mm -hmm. sell their cars, all their products and stuff. So they were giving credit. And they were just obviously <laughs> having to sell <laughs> <laughs> with the hope of. You know, that their economy would grow or they would become more uh, productive or technological, which they're not, Greek people are not known to be that <laughs> for the past 2,000 years. They do make good food though. So, they yeah, what I'm just food. saying is like tourism and all that, but it's limited, I right? mean, that's their income. For the money that they spent. They don't have anything else but tourism. And it get to the point that they say, okay, now time to pay the money and interest. And uh, oops, sorry. I'm sorry. So you keep, it's like... It's like putting your credit card debt on another credit card. No, it's like dealing with the and collection. Using the no, other credit it's card like, to pay for the it's interest like, of this credit. It's card. like dealing with the collection agency. Listen, I don't got, I don't got ten trillion dollars. I give you one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't even have that. I mean, once you go back, back. Well, no, I was saying like you know, it's like dealing so with the nine trillion dollars <laughs> that I'm saying. Nine trillion, nine trillion. That's what we do so to China right this now. This most, most. Uh, actual paper currencies all over the world, whatever the value is or the value of ones, the ones that have more value, uh, including China. China has been hoarding up on gold like crazy, right? Yeah. Because the actual cash has to have backup. The actual currency cash, the digital ones that they just keep piling up is like a credit card. At some point, you have to actually deposit you the know, money. You know what they're right? doing? They're raising your credit limit. That's what they're doing. <laughs> they're <interested. laughs> Yeah, in the credit card. Please, let's go get the job and pay it back. <laughs> so my thing, my point comes is at the end, gold and silver have intrinsic value. That means the precious metal have been precious for thousands of years. Have been a um, 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 currency for exchange for thousands of years. And no matter what it is, if you put it in a dump, still is gold. It's still is silver. You just wash it. It has the same value. Nothing diminishes that. Nothing so so that. cryptocurrency kind of kind of uh, has the same value. It, it, it same doesn't con have the same, same concept, I should say. Not it's value. It's it has not. the same concept. Because it will never be the same. No, listen. It will never be the listen, same. Listen, listen. The cryptocurrency concept is almost the same as gold and silver because the, the cryptocurrency needs to be mined. It needs to be found. You can't... There, there's not a, an ultimate supply of it, okay? There's a limited supply of cryptocurrency that needs to be mined and extracted for it to be available, okay? Once that happens, there's a process, and it's expensive as hell. It's not cheap to mine cryptocurrency. Um, it, is a, it is a very expensive process. It requires a lot of computing power, a lot of computing power, a lot of energy, electricity. It requires a lot of electricity 
but it does have a big reward. It's literally like you are mining gold, but it does I not. Know, I don't put it on the same. Thing no, no, no. But it, it doesn't. It doesn't require the same labor, like physical labor. This is more power.